Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this tutorial that I'm going to try to make as quick as possible, but we all know what happens when I say that. Either way, an APK app called Sam Sprung that you can get over on the web. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description area. Huge shout out to a couple YouTubers out there where I got the information from and I've actually been using it. Uh, so we're going to go through the process and we're going to talk a little bit about what you have to sacrifice as well to be able to run this APK for your cover display to get those apps that, well, it's going to be a lot quicker than opening up the phone if you want to utilize it as far as what apps you want to use. So I have mine right here. There's apps that you can um, turn off and apps that you can turn on because everything that you have on your phone is going to show up and I'm sure that you're not gonna be able to utilize or you're not gonna to want to utilize all of those certain apps. So I've uh, turned some off and I've left some on, you know, cause I'll use my calculator. I can go into calculator, turn that on. You have to, it just, uh, there it goes. So yeah, you might have to tap it once or twice to get to it. Uh, there might be a glitch here and there, but again, if you have patience and it's something that you want to use, uh, that's cool. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying it out. Again, it's called Sam Sprung. It's an APK app that you get over at the web. Uh, there is a sacrifice to having this ability on your cover screen, and that is turning off. Um, well, let me just go into the settings here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if we go to the lock screen, and you have your screen lock type. For some of you, this is very important to have on, and let me get a close up there, got swipe pattern, pin, password, and none. You're gonna have to choose none to be able to utilize the APK app to have apps on your cover display. It's as simple as that. So if you don't wanna sacrifice uh, your uh, screen lock type, then this is not for you. This is for those of you that don't care about having your facial recognition on, your fingerprint uh, to get into your device. So, I mean, it's very important to have security, right? So, but if it's something that you don't utilize, then you'll be able to enjoy this APK app. So let me go back out. And if I tap on my little cover display there, there are the apps that I've chosen to have. And if I go into um, my app drawer here, Sam Sprung Launcher, if I tap on that, this is where all the apps that you have on your phone will show up and you can see that some of them are turned off and some of them are turned on. Okay. So how do you get to this app, this APK? I actually saved the, uh, which I love the ability to do on Android phones is to be able to go onto the web and so we're just going to go straight to where this APK is. It's called github.com. And if you didn't know how to do this, let me show you a little quick side tutorial. Um, if you want to add a, a specific page on the web to your front display, add to home screen. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this. You just tap on add to home screen. Add to home screen will come up and it'll give you the name of the web page that you want to add. And you just hit add. And here it asks you again to do that and hit add. And a shortcut to GitHub added to home screen. And there is the page that I saved, GitHub. And what I've done is deleted the APK. So we're going to start fresh so you can see the process. So I'm going to tap to go into the APK webpage here, github.com. We want to go down to assets, tap on that. You got three options here. You want Sam Sprung dash those numbers dash signed APK. You don't want the other two. So let's tap on the first one there. And we are going to download details. And now it's downloaded, open. And uh, we're going to use package installer once. Samsung Launcher, do you want to install this application? Yes. And then we're going to open it. 
and it's going to give you all the apps that you have on your Z Flip 3. Okay, here's where you want to turn some off, leave some on, what you're realistically going to use on that cover display. Okay, that's, that's what you want to choose. So for right now, I'm just going to leave them all on and I'll do that later like I had it before. And we're going to shut my Z Flip 3, tap on the cover display, and we're going to go over and find Add Widget. And it is here that you're going to see that right there there's that little anime girl there and we're going to tap on that that automatically adds that apk to the options as a widget on your cover display so now what we want to do is go to cover screen widgets and you can see that sam sprung launcher is right down here okay and it is on i only have alarm and music on i don't use today's schedule timer or weather Oh, maybe I will turn that on. Okay, so what I want to do is reorder and bring up my Samsung launcher to the top there. And we're going to go out of there. Close my Z Flip 3. Tap on the little window. And there's the apps. So I'm not going to use all of these. I'm going to turn some of them off. Um, but uh, let's go into... YouTube, and there's my video that I just uploaded for all of you to watch. Be 20% smaller this year on your iPhone 13 smartphone series, and you got this little recessed area right in here for the combo earpiece and speaker. You can the other turn option, down the volume. The one without the built-in screen protector. Turn up the volume. It's up to you. Now, if you're already sporting a screen protector now on to your get iPhone, out of you, here, can, you can go with this, or you can... Simply press the power button. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time. Sometimes you have to do it twice. And that's a glitch. But once you get used to using it, if you choose to uh, download this APK, Samsung, um, you'll get used to it. So we'll turn it off, turn it back on. And there we go. Just like that. Okay. So if you don't mind watching movies on Netflix on a small display, you can do that. You can obviously listen to your music. Um, if I tap on my power amp there there's my power amp okay for uh copyright purposes i'm not going to play that song by queen's right but trust me well i can do it really quick okay so you can see that that works and then power button and back on back to my time and date and that's how you do that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I would use Amazon, my calculator, my calendar. I wouldn't use camera. Probably use my bank apps, my Mickey D's app. Um, YouTube. Got my movie app, uh, which is MX Player. Where is that? Uh, right here. And you can see that... Uh, Got some movies on here and uh, download. I can actually play this. I can actually bring it up a little bit there. pretty cool something you're gonna have to play around with but remember to do this to enjoy the sam sprung apk app you're going to have to go to your lock screen screen lock type and choose not if you're willing to sacrifice your swipe or your uh, security or your pattern security your pin security your password or um, whatever it is that keeps your security as far as anybody getting into your device, if you're willing to sacrifice all of that for that APK app, then go for it. If not, then again, this isn't for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely fashion. But I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll be able to utilize all the apps that you have on your Z Flip 3 and still uh, be able to use the other widgets as well. So um, yeah, that's it, man. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Uh, again, the information will be down below in the description area. God bless you all. Peace. Stay safe and healthy. I'm out.